Okay, welcome back. Well, we've brushed teeth. We've brushed Major's teeth, and that's a daily experience for him. And now I'm going to brush the dog out, and I'm going to take a good look at the dog's skin. And again, this is a daily procedure. This helps me to recognize and identify any problems with my dog immediately. If I have to go to the vet, I don't have to second guess, oh, how long has he had that? Well, I'm not sure. I just noticed it. When I'm looking at my dog every day, I don't have to second guess. I can tell you whether that was there yesterday or not because I look at my dog every day. Major is considered a short coat chihuahua, but he actually has a double coat. He has these outer guard hairs, and then he has an undercoat, which you can see if you get a little closer, you can see that white cottony layer next to his skin. Okay, and for this type of a dog, we're going to use a rubber curry comb. This one's called a zoom groom. And this rubber curry comb is going to help to loosen that undercoat. It's going to massage his skin, and that's going to help his skin. That's going to help the oil properly um, on his skin. And it's going to loosen up those dead hairs and the hairs that the dog is shedding in the house. This is a rubber curry comb, and I'm going to go with the grain. This is brushing with the grain of the dog's fur. And you can see the hair coming out. This is end of December. So we've gotten most of his undercoat out already, but as you can see, he's shedding. All dogs shed, contrary to popular belief. Unless the dog is bald, it sheds. It's just that some dogs shed relatively little compared to other dogs. But all dogs shed, all dogs require grooming, unless the dog is hairless. If I run my brush through a poodle, I'm going to get hair in the brush. The poodle has actually shed hair into the brush. All dogs shed. And these double-coated dogs shed a lot. A bigger double-coated dog would be like a Golden Retriever or a German Shepherd, a Sheltie, a Labrador, um, and it can leave a mess in your house. And I find if you brush your dog every day, you're going to stay on top of that. He's got some feathering back here. Again, it's wintertime, so it's not quite as full. And I'm going to gently go against the grain on that feathering. My left hand is supporting the dog to make sure that the pressure I'm applying doesn't throw him off balance or hurt his legs, but I'm going to go a little bit against the grain and I'm going to physically pick my dog up supporting his body, putting my hands right on his tummy on either side of his privates and supporting him by his hips and by his chest. And I can do that. I'm going to brush this side with the rubber curry comb. And you can see, even though it's December, this is a fairly productive brushing. And I'm a groomer, um, and I like my grooming table. You can put a rubber mat, a rubber bath mat, up on top of your washing machine and have the dog facing you and, and be in control of the dog. You want to train the dog to be up there. Don't walk away from your dog. Don't just put a dog up there and walk away from it, because if this little dog jumped down, he could really injure himself. But I like to have the dog at this level because it enables me to do a much better job and keep him well under control. But you can see the amount of hair that's coming off. Okay, and I want to keep it on the table. The next thing I'm going to use on Major is a natural bristle brush. And the natural bristle brush is going to remove some of that, uh, some of that uh, loose hair that the curry comb kind of rattled about. And again, with this, I'm going against, I mean, going with the grain not against the grain. I'm supporting the dog with my left hand and currying him or brushing him with my right. And I'm, I've got my hands on the dog so I can feel if there are any lumps or bumps or scabs or crusties or abrasions or lesions, anything along those lines. And that's with that brush. And I'm going to finish him with a much softer natural bristle brush. And this is much softer, and I want to use this very gently on his head and on his chin and his neck because they've got hairs there too. And again, I'm picking him up by his chest cavity, so I'm not scooting him up, scooting his legs on the table. I'm going to go ahead and pick him up under the front legs, and you see that I've got him under the armpits with my hand so that I'm taking the brunt of his weight and I'm using this brush on his belly, and I'm taking a look between those back legs, and I'm making sure that I don't see any kind of irritation. 
Dogs can very often have irritation in this area from a variety of reasons. I'm taking a look at his feet while I'm here. Anything unusual about his feet, all right? I'm gonna set him back down to look at his pads. I'm just gonna look at him by lifting them up straight back. And my final touch with Major today is I'm gonna take a baby wipe, everybody's best friend when they have dogs. This is a hypoallergenic wipe. I get the fragrance free and I'm gonna wipe between his eyes and his face. Major as a Chihuahua has very large eyes and those eyes tend to run. Those tear ducts become blocked pretty easily so you can get some staining, but for his comfort and for mine, because I want my dog to have a nice clean face, I'm putting that baby wipe around my index finger and I am very gently wiping in the corner to get any of that crusty stuff out of there. Wiping along his lip line I clean the dog's ears separately, so I'll do that. That will be the focus of another video. I clean his private area and his bum, because he's in my house and I don't want things falling off his bum in my house. I can fold it up and show you that every time he goes for a walk, and sometimes on the grooming table, I will go ahead and wipe his feet one at a time so as not to throw the dog off balance. Dogs can absorb lots of inappropriate nasty things through their feet and again he's in my house I want his feet clean I've got one more foot to do and he's done and he gets a treat and he gets his collar on with his identification tag and there we have a daily groomed chihuahua thank you <laughs>